Lighthouse, starring Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Uh, it was directed by Robert Eggers, written by Robert Eggers and his brother Max. Um, Robert Eggers' debut film was The Witch, or The Vivitch, as it's stylized on the poster. Now, I remember seeing the poster and the trailer for The Witch and having um, quite strong expectations that it was going to be the scariest film of all time. So when I saw The Witch, um, and this is a bit of a cautionary tale about how expectations can affect an opinion, I uh, didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would or hoped I would. And that seems to be against um, general, the general consensus. It seems to be well rated. So I probably should watch it again. And I certainly will be after watching The Lighthouse, which was uh, quite an experience. It tells the story of two lighthouse keepers stranded on a remote island, uh, given a four a four week work assignment. Um, Robert Pattinson's character is new to the job. Willem Dafoe's character is an old hand and has a uh, plenty of experience with the sea and is an old salty sea dog kind of character. The plot's extremely basic. It's um, a kind of a psychological cat and mouse between the two characters. Um, are they mad? Are they going mad? Is one trying to make the other mad? Uh, are they dreaming? Are they hallucinating? The mood of the film is very oppressive. The, the score, the sound effects, um, the camera is always in close-up or medium. There's very few long shots and establishing shots. It's filmed in a really strange aspect ratio of apparently 1.19 to 1, which means the screen is almost square, which is something that you don't really see these days. It's filmed in black and white. Uh, there's constant sound, rain, the waves, just creates a mood that is generally claustrophobic, uh, oppressive. Um, the feels very dirty and obviously very wet because it's raining all the time. The waves are crashing. Uh, apparently a lot of the weather is genuine. Um, not much special effects apparently with the weather and was quite dangerous in parts. But it's an absolutely stunning looking film. Every frame seems to be, feels like a piece of art really. Uh, like the characters are moving in a piece of art. It feels very meticulously designed each shot. Uh, there's something to draw your eye to every shot really. Both actors are absolutely incredible. Um, Willem Dafoe especially. I'm a big fan of Willem Dafoe. I'm a big fan of Robert Pattinson as well actually. He obviously gets a lot of stick for his early Twilight films. But he's turned out to be a pretty good, uh, a pretty good actor. Um, but Willem Dafoe uh, really gets to chew the scenery with some of his uh, monologues. And he gets quite a few monologues, one especially impressive one where he curses Robert, Robert Pattinson's character um, in full close-up, very theatrical. Uh, he doesn't blink for about two minutes. Uh, it's, it's really impressive. You can tell he's really, really enjoying it. And the actors also, you feel they're really in their wages as well. They're scrabbling in the mud, being hit with waves, rain, having to work with um, unpleasant sort of prosthetics. It looks like it would have been an incredibly physically demanding role. There was a scene where Willem Dafoe's character is doing another one of his monologues while being battered in the face with mud. Um, it looks like it could have been fun, but I think it could have been a bit unpleasant at times as well, especially with the weather. As I said, it's not really a plot film, and it's not really a character film so much. Um, there is a small plot point towards the end where Robert Pattinson's character is desperate to get into the bulb bulb room of the lighthouse which Willem Dafoe has um, said is off limits to to his character and he, he's just desperate to, to sort of know and understand what's there but you, you kind of um, tell there's good, the, the, the way the film progresses there's not going to be a big plot revelation about what's in this bulb room. It's very the whole film is very kind of metaphorical, dreamlike, al allegorical. There's a mention of the Prith Prometheus legend, not the Ridley Scott film, but the actual Titan god who was pecked apart by animals. So I enjoyed it a lot more than The Witch, which I do admit I do need to watch again. I'll give it another try. Um, but I really enjoyed this film. Negatives uh, at the start. It's quite difficult to make out what Willem Dafoe's character is saying because there's a lot of mumbling. He's got this sort of almost pirate sea shanty accent to him which um, it's difficult to hear what he's saying at the start and the, and the sound's obviously very loud with all the sort of waves, rain. 
another negative is I'd say it's probably a touch too long because this is not a film based on character or plot it's all a, it's a mood film really and that mood does wane a little towards the end of its one hour fifty run time all in all um, I really enjoyed it um, I'm looking forward to see what Robert Eggers does next I think if he carries on doing these kind of psychological horrors not that this feels like a horror but it's 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 horrible I suppose um, be interested to see what he comes up next if he just if he just push himself to do something actually really scary I think he could do something special I would say this film is definitely not for everyone um, because it's not plot heavy uh, and because it's quite artfully shot I think a lot of people might find it a bit pretentious especially with a lot of the sort of dream sequences and the hallucination sequences they could come off a little bit arty farty to some um, my partner for example absolutely hated it she just gave it no time whatsoever <laughs> she just didn't want to watch it um, which I expected but yeah so it's not going to be for everyone um, I really really enjoyed it and my score is eight and a half out of ten